10 Ks of full gas. Uh, like always in uh, in Spain, the profiles are not uh, totally correct because it's pretty uh, pretty difficult. Was a harder parkour than uh, I expected. Actually, I was uh, <laughs> a little bit uh, angry when I when, when I saw the parkour. So it's uh, it's it's technical some parts, but also really some power parts in it. So um, glad it's done. Yeah, this was hard enough. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the profile, but maybe it's a good idea to just check it out again. Yeah, it was really, really, really heavy. I think uh, it's it's a very uh, it's a nice uh, time trial. When it is dry, but when it is raining here in Spain with a slippery road, it's it's shit. Steph, um, it's raining right now. Uh, how was the course when you started? I'm, yeah, it was wet when I started. Uh, but uh, I try to do my best, you know, it's the last 10k. Yeah, then it is like it is. It's impossible in the rain to go as close fast to the, to the, to the, to the best riders. Uh, Laurens ten Dam, uh, how was uh, the last 10k's of uh, La Vuelta? Pretty wet, so uh, no risk. And uh, pretty uh, the, 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 the long straights, you have to push, because eh, uh, you can it really easy. But the downhill was, uh, was really dangerous, so I took it easy. It's a different temperature when, when it's wet, so it uh, yeah, was okay for now. It was really suffering for me uh, this three weeks, but uh, hopefully it uh, will be, uh, be better after the, this race, so hopefully. We came here for a top 10, uh, but yeah, we know all uh, why, uh, why Robert Geesink went home, um, and that's, uh, that's the reality. So we go home with mixed feelings, I think. If you could describe this Vuelta in two words, what would it be? Start with full. Very hard, full gas. <laughs>